In this video, we'll show you how to handle questions related to domain and range. Some things to remember on this topic. Domain refers to the value of x that defines y. So remember, if the question asks to find domain, domain is the x value that defines y. Whereas a range refers to the value of y that defines x. So there are two types of uh, problems related to domain and uh, range. If you are given questions related to square root, then square root numbers can only be defined if the content of the square root is greater or equals to zero. Remember this. And sometimes we might be given questions in the form of fractions. So remember fractions can only be defined if the denominator is not equals to zero. Okay? Let's look at sample question one. We are asked to find the domain and range of y equals to x squared minus 3. So let's start with domain. Domain refers to the value of x that defines y. So in this case, y is equal to x squared minus 3. And here, we can substitute x with a positive number. We can still find the value of y. If we substitute x with 0, we still get the answer for y. And the same goes for x equals to negative numbers. We can also substitute and still define y. So therefore, x can be any number. So we say x can be substituted with any values. Hence, the domain equals to all values of x, where x must be a real number that can define y. Okay? What about range? Now, range refers to the value of y that defines x. So let's look at the question again. So y equals to x squared minus 3. In order to find range, we have to shift x to the left and then y to the right. So we should get y, uh, shift the negative 3 first. We have y plus 3 equals x squared. All right. Then the interchange, we have x squared equals y plus 3. Therefore, x is equals to square root of y plus 3. So as I mentioned earlier, the square root can only be defined if the content is greater or equals to 0. So for x to exist, therefore, we say y plus 3 must be greater or equal to 0. Therefore, shift the 3 to the right. We have y greater or equal to negative 3. Hence, range is equal to all values of y, where y must be a real number, and then y must be greater or equal to negative 3. Let's look at sample question 2. Here we are given the function fx equals to 3x squared over x minus 1. We are asked to find the value of f0 plus f negative 2. And the second part, we are asked to find the domain of fx. So let's start with part 1. fx equals 3x squared over x minus 1. Therefore, f0 plus f negative 2, which means we substitute x with 0, substitute x with negative 2. So we should get... 3, here 0 square over 0 minus 1. So this is the 1 for f0. The same goes for f negative 2. Substitute with negative 2. So simplify. Here we will get 0 over negative 1 equals 0. And then here negative 2 square equals 4 times 3 equals 12. Negative 2 and negative 1 will give us negative 3. So th therefore 12 over negative 3. The answer is negative 4. Now for part 2, we are asked to find the domain. So as I said, domain refers to the value of x that defines y. If you look at the function again, it is in the form of a fraction. For fx to exist, then the denominator here must not be equal to 0. So therefore, we say x minus 1 not equal to 0. Shift negative 1 to the right. So we have x not equal to 1. So therefore, domain is equal to all values of x, where x must be a member of real numbers, and then x must not be equal to 1. 